What's up guys, it's Avery. Hope you're all doing well out there, enjoying your summer and all of that. It's time to sit down and chat about my favorite items from the past month. So that is clothing, movies, and music from the month of June. Just to give you guys an idea of what I'm interested in, give us something to chat about down in the comments. And of course, as always, I need your recommendations, so hit me up there. And we always start off with clothing, so let's do that. Each month, you guys know, we usually start off talking about all the clothing that I haven't shown you that I purchased that month, or somehow got that month, just to simplify things and round it up all at the end, nothing too extravagant. But this month was definitely something special, and if you're interested in the things I hunted down, check my last two videos. Those were Antwerp pickups that I was hunting down secondhand, and buying brand new. And those are definitely my favorite things from the past month. You had Raph Spring Summer 04 that I hunted down, Demoulemeister used, as well as new pieces like this shirt right here with the button on hood, those mules. It was just a good, wholesome, wholesome month for, for uh, those items. But just go hit those two videos up. Another item that I purchased that I can't show you proper, but was definitely one of my favorite things, is just finally getting a pair of German Army trainers in hand. German Army trainers are a very all-around shoe. Just froze there for a second. All-around shoe, super reliable, just really quality in terms of design and construction. Super versatile as far as wearing it goes. Will definitely last a lifetime. And the shoe itself, if you don't know why it's called a German Army trainer, is because it is the trainer shoe for Bundeswehr, or the German Army. So you can find those littered across Europe for 20 bucks. That's what I got my pair for. Skated them, tore them up. Mine started peeling apart, so you definitely need to make sure that your pair isn't too worn in. That's my one downside, my one tip for you guys hunting a pair down. But also if you're in the States, you can get them online for 40 or $50. I'll include some links down below for you guys back home, you guys in Europe, everything. But that is, like I always say, <clears throat> excuse me, an honest product. Honest in terms of design and construction and history too, really cool history behind them. So big respect to those shoes, but unfortunately they've fallen. I want to include a new segment in this video, which is an item that was my favorite thing, or a clothing item that's my favorite thing that has been revitalized in my wardrobe, for lack of a better term. Something that I've had for a while, but I found myself really enjoying and wearing a lot, because I think that shows you um, how to build a wardrobe that actually represents yourself and that might be a stretch, but just one that is really worth building. And maybe you don't need 100 items, maybe you just need 12 and just to rotate them. These right here are those super wide leg Yang Lee trousers. Virgin wool, creased, as well as pleated at the waist, and also worth mentioning, a size 50. So it's a really wide leg trouser. They are definitely, I wanna say two or three sizes too big for me. And I still found myself wearing these in Antwerp and Paris here in Warsaw all the time. They are really comfortable, but they have a formal look with all those details I mentioned, such as the pleats at the waist, but not in an actual formal way. way. You aren't gonna see your uncle wearing these to a wedding because they're really dirty and dark looking, but they do have those formal features. And then they just feel like a pair of sweatpants. They're really nicely constructed. Just big ups to Yang Lee. Go check out his work as well as his work for Samizdat, the virtual, or I should say faux, fake, uh, noise band. So really, really cool pants and something I've had in my wardrobe for two years and found myself wearing um, a lot recently. So even though they don't fit me, but they're still really comfortable and really high quality. So love those. I think you can still get them on sale. So I'll link those down in the description. But those are my favorite clothing items from the month of June. Ah, losing my voice over here. You guys know <clears throat> we need to pull out the phone to go over movies and music. Music list, music list is long this week or this month, this month. So the first movie that Kaylee and I caught was back in Antwerp 
at our first Airbnb because we had to extend our stay because we were enjoying it so much. <clears throat> and that is Tarkovsky's Stalker. If you guys are familiar with anything by Andrei Tarkovsky, it's probably Solaris. But Stalker was spectacular. Definitely, definitely recommend it. It is a very surreal but moving trip of the zone. It's always hard not to give too much away, especially when I'm looking at the next one, Perfect Blue. But Stalker definitely follows the Russian way of filmmaking with less of a narrative, um, but just really, really good. I don't, I don't know what to say. Perfect Blue, another one I need to avoid spoilers. This was a recommendation for, from you guys, so thank you very much from when I was talking about Satoshi Khan's <clears throat> Paprika in, I think two months ago I watched that. And Perfect Blue, at first it was just a nice story, beautifully animated, but I don't know what I can say here, but when you put together in your little brain what is really going on or what really is the case, it's like jaw on the floor, amazing. Ah, I, you, go check it out if you're interested in anime uh, movies. Um, then I checked out Casino, which is, uh, sorry about my voice, oh my. Then I watched Casino, which is a gangster movie that definitely deserves to be up there with the likes of Goodfellas, let's say. Really awesome soundtrack to this one. Robert De Niro, what can you say? Then I found myself watching a lot of Iron-Blooded Orphans, which is the most recent Gundam series. Gundam is a mech-based anime show. And apparently there is a live action Gundam movie coming. Don't know about that, but Iron-Blooded Orphans, I never finished the second season and it's just a really fun, high energy, um, easy watching, but also a good captivating story too. And I don't, I still haven't finished the second season and I don't really want to because it's been spoiled for me and I don't want the spoiler to be true. Not gonna ruin it for you guys though, but that's a pretty good show. Then the Vietnam War, this was a really exciting one because I found out that it was on Netflix. This is an 18 hour documentary series, Ken Burns documentary. I originally found out about this one from the soundtrack, knowing that Trent and Atticus scored this one. Pretty highly acclaimed work together, they won some awards for The Social Network. And I was interested to see how it would pair with the Vietnam War, which I definitely don't know enough about and so far so good and awesome that it is already up on Netflix. I believe it was originally a PBS program, which just wasn't something that I was gonna catch. And I even talked to some of you guys about this at the store, at our store in New York when we had that Staatsballett pop up, was when am I gonna have the time to watch 18 hours of this, but I might end up finishing it one of these days, one of these months. Then, <clears throat> I watched Slow West with Kaylee. We watched Slow West, and that is a modern take on a classic Western, beautifully shot, really charming, get attached to the characters, sad, but don't want to spoil anything there. Um, really, really gorgeous movie, and that was just a fun Western that's a little bit different, but it's also fairly traditional. It's just like the Westerns from the mid 1900s, except with a modern twist. So nothing over the top, nothing too surrealist or something like that, but a good one. That's a good story too. And now let's talk about some music or at least play you guys some music. This month was jam packed, the month of June in 2018. Have to say it now. Uh, the month was jam-packed. I even had you guys on my last video, which came out in like the first week of June, saying, why didn't you include this? Why didn't you include this? And it's because that music released last month, but there was just so much of it piling up already with Ye and Kid Sea Ghost right at the beginning. Um, oh, you also have Nine Inch Nails, Proto Martyr. Some really good, <clears throat> excuse me, some really good stuff. So definitely stay tuned for this music. That's what I'm gonna leave you with today. 
But yeah, until next time, everyone do me one last favor. Have a good day for me. Let's talk down in the comments about what you've been enjoying and all of that. But take care, guys. Peace. All that. I'm so, I'm so Cause they made mine I learned to stretch time These are the best times I'm in my neighborhood And stadiums The Mets kind My blood brother Is an immigrant A beautiful Immigrant If I pull up With a Kerry Washington That's gonna be An enormous scandal I could have Naomi Campbell And still might want me A Stormy Daniels Pure hate like spit going over Ramo. A good response would be to wave high like Maine.